Hello, I'm Mediocre Montgomery, and uh, today. Whoa. 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 Wow. Hey guys, Mediocre Hype Beast here. Today I got a review of the uh, Puff Bar. I really should have wrote a script for this one. Nah, but for real, I'm just pissing on your parade. It does taste pretty damn good though, honestly. Apologize if the lighting isn't the best. I'm out here in the garage. It's hotter than hell. I probably look pretty rough. Rougher than Amy Schumer's Ryan Dunn joke. Ooh, you like that? Ooh. Look, darling, Johnny Ringo. Anyway, I picked this up. Uh, I've probably had it for the better part of a year now. It's a Cimarron Thunderer with the bird's head grips. Um, I think it's a three and a half inch barrel and 357 Magnum. This is kind of a, gonna be like a review. Unfortunately, this probably isn't gonna be the most positive review ever. This gun, right out of the box, as soon as I got home, looked at it, the, uh, the timing was so bad. So this is like a four click gun. I was getting five clicks. I would hear the fourth click and then, you know, let go of the hammer and it would fall down to half cock and then go to pull it back and then hear the ever, like ever so slightly, there would be a fifth click. And then the uh, locking lug and the trigger would set, uh, finally locking everything up the way it's supposed to be, which was a serious issue. And I was doing it on each and every uh, individual chamber. Ugh. Uh, Mighty Hanks is saving my life right now. This can be used for everything from ball sweat to cleaning your sunglasses. So that's cool. But for real, I actually really do like their product and I use it all the time. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, four clicks, I was getting five. The timing was horrible on each and every chamber. Uh, the gun has been fixed uh, since then, so I can't demonstrate that. But uh, prior to my highly anticipated purchase of this firearm, I found a video that a gentleman made where he was demonstrating the exact same problem that I was having with this gun. His was a 45, uh, but I think it had a longer barrel too. But he was having the exact same timing issue with like this same model of gun. Now, watch the trigger and watch the bolt. When you cycle the action, There's the bolt popping up against the cylinder, but it hasn't yet rotated into the notch. Now it's in the notch, but the hammer's not fully cocked, so you can actually fall forward onto the half cock notch, which would be bad. Uh, it could really ruin your, your sear and or break the half cock notch. So if you just cocked it and then took your thumb off the hammer, it would slam forward into the half cock notch. Not a good idea. You have to really pull back hard on the hammer then to allow that trigger to set into the notch. It he was, but I don't think his was happening on all six chambers. I think he was only having issues with two or three roughly, which is really unfortunate. And another problem that he had that I didn't have, fortunately, was uh, the uh, loading gate. When I have this on half cock, I can actually eject the shell. See the little plunger actually has room for the uh, cartridge to actually eject. His being the, the fatter 45 uh, was actually getting hung up right here and he would have to manually kind of do this thing while he ejects. So he had to fix that too, which is a bummer. And another problem that he ended up having, which I also had, which I'm gonna shoot a video because I have to disassemble this gun to show the problem. But right in here, there was a little lip of metal that hadn't been smoothed down on the uh, uh, well, I don't know what the hell you want to call it, like the face. 
Well, if I was to go to cock the gun, the the rim of the cartridges were actually getting caught on that lip. So I had to personally go through and file that down. So as I was saying, this thing had some horrible timing issues. I've got it uh, disassembled. If you look right about there, that's where I had to shave that entire lip off. It was catching the rim of the cartridges. If you look in there, you can see where they did some work on the bolt. Not entirely sure what else they did. I think they did a little work on the arm. Because I'm not, I'm not a gunsmith by any means. But uh, this thing is needed work upon work upon work. And still needs work. Uh, I've also had some, some trouble with this screw here in particular. Staying tight. Uh, it just wants to unscrew itself all you know all the time i'm constantly having to go through and retighten it honestly it probably needs it again yeah it really does but uh yeah it, it's been a rough process yeah that's a real bummer because i really do love this gun and ever since i saw tombstone i wanted you know I mean, the originals were the double action lightning and thunder revolvers, but this just being a single action, I'm totally fine with it. Drunk piano player. You're so drunk, you can't hit nothing. In fact, you're probably seeing double. I have two guns, one for each of you. But ever since I watched Tombstone, you know, and I was just totally enthralled by Doc Holliday's character like everyone else that's seen the movie, I always wanted one of these, and I was super psyched when I got this thing. You know, this was like one of my dream guns, and it's just unfortunate that... It's sad that they cut corners on something that could be such a nice gun right out of the box, and it should be a nice gun for how they advertise it, you know. Uh, but I just recently had another problem with it, and if you've been paying attention to me shaking this thing around, that cylinder is just almost free floating. So here's half cock, you know, and the cylinder should just freely rotate, you know, for loading and unloading. Here's full cock. Yeah, that's epic. So at the moment it is completely foobar and I'm gonna have to get it fixed. Once again, you know, I, I don't exactly punish this thing. I like to think I take pretty good care of it. I don't exactly shoot as much as I'd like to as is. Uh, if I was to give an estimate on how many rounds I've put through this, I'd say, oh God, it couldn't be any more than 200, you know? So that's kind of where I sit with this at the moment. I do want to get it fixed because I've been wanting to do a review and some shooting of this firearm but it keeps fucking breaking on me. So that's a bummer. This is the only one I've ever bought from Cimarron. And I know Cimarron is manufactured by Uberti. So Cimarron, Uberti, I'm just going to use those interchangeably. This is the only one I've ever bought from either of them. And it has been a huge deterrent for me to get another one, you know, of any model or kind. Because my disappointment has been immeasurable. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined i don't know if they're just cutting corners on this specific model if that's their quality control for everything probably not gonna buy another one and i would highly highly suggest that if you're interested in something from this market do your fucking research so you don't get bit in the ass like i did yeah uh I'm Mediocre Montgomery. Uh, I probably missed some things, but I just kind of wanted... This was probably going to be a quick video anyways, but I just wanted to make this video and kind of throw it out there for anyone that might be interested in this gun or if you just like watching my shit for some inconceivable reason. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do your homework. Uh, Cimarron uh, slash you birdie. You really need to figure this shit out because... For the price point, I don't think this is acceptable at all. Deuces.